welcome back to the channel hope you're doing good and staying safe nana here so today we are continuing the apartment hunting in canada video so i want to use the part one video that i made to make the part two video to show you how easy it is to actually look for apartments in canada so just go to youtube search for kwame and anna and look for the video this is it now you don't necessarily need to watch the whole video you can decide just to scroll to the most important parts right for the purpose of this video I want to focus on the places where I was able to actually get some contact information for some real estate companies and we are going to use that info to search you can do this search on your phone your laptop your tablet everywhere but I prefer to do it on the laptop so it's quicker and seamless and you can get like the full view all right so that's the first one it's not very clear Guys, it's 2 a.m. So I had to put the sound low because my flatmate is sleeping. But the first one we have is corporatesdevelopments.ca. So just come to your browser. And this is it. So you can look for apartments for rent, commercial properties, furnished units. Let's just try one and see what's going to come up. So they have some listings. There are no available rentals, right? But there's no harm in scrolling through, right? So you can scroll through because you say it, it said there's no available listings, but they have something here this three bedroom at water close terrace terrence villa so yeah terrence villa townhouses looks nice there are no inside like <clears throat> there are no actual inside pictures but you have all the amenities here in the location and everything that's the realtor i just don't want to show her contact details so we're not going to go lower so if you're interested you come to this website search and you can find some good stuff right don't say i didn't do nothing for you okay so the second place I need to put this volume down for a sec So we have killamrate.com. So just put that in your browser. Okay. Personally, I like this interface more than this interface. I'm not trying to be picky or choosy, but I'm a person who finds it difficult to navigate around websites so this interface already shows you like you can start looking in the location your budget but it, it's not 
like this so <laughs> personally <clears throat> I <clears throat> personally I like this interface but let's see so let's look for something in St. John open budget so they have some two bedrooms one bedroom two bedroom one bedroom yeah all right let's yeah so just the details i'm not promoting for them so any information you find here always do your own due diligence okay don't just like pick the information and just throw it into the mix thinking that it's a one size fits all so i just need to put that out there anyways so they have two bedrooms available from december 1st you have the features, the floor plan. So that's how your, your apartment is going to look. You come in, you have the laundry room, the bathroom, kitchen, dining, living room, the den, the bedroom, bathroom, the stairs, the balcony. Pretty simple. Yeah. And they have apartments in different parts of Canada as well. I don't know if Corpets has in different parts of Canada, but you can check. Guys, apologies. I started to cough, so I needed like a minute. But yeah, so you have Corpets and you have Kelam Rate. There is another place you can search for properties, but I didn't talk about it in this video actually called Kijiji it's a Canadian website like um, e-commerce site you can actually search for anything you want here but for today we're searching for apartments you know it's a mountain okay so i already have my filter to st john that's why it's not working so you can take out the filter or just leave it so All right, you know what? We're just gonna leave the filter for now. <clears throat> and uh, two bedroom in St. John, you can get for 1,100, 1,200. That's pretty cheap, 995, 1,500. okay let's check this one out so guys while we're checking it out i would like to give you some important tips the first tip is never to pay for a property you have not seen if you're not physically in the country let's say you're a student and school starts in september you're going to arrive in september but you don't want that last minute looking for a place so you want to get a place in August, that's fine. <clears throat> you can get a place in August, but bear in mind that you need to, you're going to need to pay a hold or commitment fee. It's something that I see is quite common here to prove to the realtor or the leaser that you're going to take the place as you say you are. So in such a situation, always ask for videos of the place and also request to have a video call while the leaser or the renter is in the property i'm saying this because we saw pictures of a place it was like really nice 
and we ended up going to the place. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it was terrible. <clears throat> it was terrible. So, guys, have this in mind when you're always renting a place. If you're not there to physically see the place, ask for videos and a video call while the person is on the property. Also, ask for the surroundings, not just the inside, but the outside, you know. How does the outside look? Research about the neighborhood. <clears throat> ask friends who live in the country already or like people from your home country or friends or whoever i mean you can even ask us kwame and nana will be as honest and transparent with you as possible and then you can make your decision so do not pay for something you've not seen and bear in mind that um for places that are quite cheap usually they are unfinished and you have to pay utilities yourself so when you are looking through the ad look for these things you see this one has heating and parking no water no wi-fi agreement one year not pet friendly not furnished no air condition no smoking <clears throat> so always ensure that you check all these things and also ask the lisa or the person renting about these things if you're not sure it's fine to ask questions don't be shy just ask any question you have about the place if it's meant to be you will get it if it's not meant to be you will not get it and it's not the end of the world another thing to bear in mind is that um if you are furnishing yourself the furniture is not so cheap <laughs> i just found out recently so a bed can cost you like a full bed the mattress and then the i don't know what they even call that like the board like the bed frame itself and then the mattress together can go between um 150 to 1000 you know what since we are in kijiji let's just check so <clears throat> this is a pad this is not a mattress so this is a single bed mattress 120 queen bed 200 so this is like someone is throwing out their stuff so sometimes you can get people who are doing moving sales or they just want to get rid of old stuff so in that case you can get really good deals but normal mattress like this yeah so if, for instance, you are getting a fully furnished apartment for 600 and then you are getting an unfurnished apartment for 500 <laughs> I mean, it's, I don't think it's going to be worth it because this is just the bed. So this is just the frame without the mattress, for instance. <clears throat> and yeah so you can end up paying <clears throat> as little as a, a, a hundred as much as 500 to 15 yeah Four hundred. So always consider these kind of things. If you're renting the place for one year or long term, then it makes sense to go for a cheaper, unfinished place, right? Because if you get a place for four hundred, and then you are getting a mattress for a mattress and a bed 
for 400 splitting that 400 across um, the 12 months it's still going to be cheaper as compared to getting a fully finished place for 700 but bear in mind that aside the mattress you need like other stuff because most times they come really empty like there is nothing I don't know if they have some pictures but <clears throat> they come for the unfurnished ones they come really empty so it's just like you know the kitchen appliances and that's it you have no desk no lamp no table no chair it's just like this so always consider all these things when you're looking for a place you know weigh the pros and cons of a furnished unfurnished the, the distance to amenities like um to the city center to the hospital to the walmart all these kind of things so you can also <clears throat> you can also find great deals on kikiji and on facebook i haven't really checked facebook for apartments so i'm gonna skip that but if you follow the same process in the apartment hunting in hungry video for facebook i'm sure you can get like some really good deals in facebook so Mm -hmm. So this is a two bedroom apartment. Okay, so now we got some pictures. Nice pictures. Unfurnished. So at times you can even negotiate with them, of course. If they are moving out if they say they are moving out that's why they need to rent or they are selling the place or whatever you can ask oh can I buy the furniture you have at a discount so where can I get some furniture at a discount so that could also help you get some cheaper furniture I personally don't don't mind if you're willing to spend like a thousand or eight hundred seven hundred on furniture you know like really nice decor but considering a student's budget and most times the student is going to be there on a short term basis i wouldn't say it's necessary to buy everything brand new but that's my own point of view i mean yeah so in the kitchen you have the stove you have some What's the cabinet? Is the microwave, the sink, and the entrance? That's the room. It's a balcony, nice balcony, and the room is bare. That's the washing, the dryer, it's the fridge, it's the bathroom, and yeah. So guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate. All the support you give to us and please don't forget to comment your questions your suggestions your queries everything and don't forget to like and share subscribe if you have not and click the notification button once you subscribe so that every time we post a new video you'll be the first to see it thanks and stay tuned for more videos peace